Hallyu the Korean Wave is one of the first exhibitions of its kind, showcasing the dynamic and vibrant and colourful popular culture of South Korea. The exhibition is divided into five sections. We have um, a history section which lays down the rather tumultuous early 20th century history of South Korea to K-drama, one of the first ripples of the Korean wave, to then K-cinema, K-pop and fandoms, K-beauty and K-fashion. So it looks at all the cultural impact of the drama, the cinema, all together, and what that's had on the creative industries in Korea. When you first come through to the exhibition, you'll be greeted with Sai's bubblegum pink suit that he famously wore in Gangnam Style, together with a digital display that smashed up all of the different global parodies. And then they're met by this incredible loan that we have of Namjoon Pike's Mirage sculpture, which is 33 TVs stacked in a huge sculpture over four meters that's never been shown in the UK before. And then people will be met with costumes from Squid Games. And then visitors can go through to K Cinema. And one of the highlights of the show is a recreation of the semi basement shown in Parasite. And we worked with the art director of the film, Lee Hajin, to recreate that here at the VA, which is really, really special. We've been really lucky to borrow outfits that were worn by the group ATs and also the group Esper. Visitors can see this really beautiful array of contemporary Korean fashion from a lot of designers who've worked in the UK so they have a connection to London like Miss Sohi is based here and she did the incredible pink and lime green dress that's in the centre worn by Miley Cyrus during performance in the Graham Norton show. Yeah. What we really wanted to show with the exhibition was that Hallyu isn't just a global phenomenon that happened in the last couple of years, but something that's been tracking for over 30 years now. We noticed the visitors coming to engage with our Korean collection, they'd be sometimes engaging through the lens of Korean drama and cinema and then entering traditional Korean culture, whereas some of our older audiences may remember sort of Korea from its earlier, more difficult past. So we wanted to connect these two elements of South Korea and show how that's all been um, snowballing into the phenomenon that is the Korean wave.